Sometimes we might need to model more complex parts like these two here. These parts can't be modelled in one sketch like we've done in the past. We need to break them down and turn them into multiple sketches. For example, this one on the left here, you can be seen as a smaller cube on the bottom with an L-shaped lip across the top. So over in Inventor, we'll go ahead and we'll create a 2D sketch. We'll go ahead and we'll draw in our bottom cube. Once that's completed, we can finish the sketch and extrude that up to the desired height. The next step is to add our lip across the top. To do that, all we simply need to do is click on Start 2D Sketch. In this case, the origin planes don't appear, but what it's asking us is to choose where on our original part we want to draw, as identified by the red square that's highlighting. In this case, we're going to draw it on the top. And I'm simply going to choose the line tool and start drawing the part in. Once you've completed your second sketch, just go ahead and hit Finish Sketch and use the Extrude tool to extrude the next part of your sketch up. And there we have it, our finished part. Some cases, like this part here on the right, we'll have a little bit of a sketch that will be drawn with nothing behind it like we did on our previous part here. If we go over to this part and I'll start a new sketch on this side here, you notice that you don't have to draw on top of the part that's already there. We can come along and add some sketches off to the side. And then we're able to extrude that to create an add-on to our original part. There's no limit to how many sketches we can do. The only important thing is to make sure that anything that you need to extrude all the parts of the sketch are on the same sketch, otherwise it will not extrude.